Hey guys, it's Missy. Welcome to another Miss Trendy Treats. Today, I am going to be making a treat inspired by the new movie Zootopia. Doing is making something with Rice Krispie treats. Now these are already pre-made, so you're going to want to make them and let them sit for about 30 minutes before you start decorating them. But today, it's going to be all about the decorating. So um, without further ado, let's begin. To start, you're going to want to press out as many stars as you want boxes. And then the same with your circle cutter. I'm using a smaller circle cookie cutter for Flash's head as they would be the same size if I laid it over the top of the fox's head minus the ears and fur. Take your leftovers and put them aside. Now cover your surface with parchment paper. This surface needs to be transferable as you will be moving the treats around a lot. Next, take your yellow candy melts and add a few red ones and melt them to make the color orange. I goofed here and forgot to hit record for the sticks and the foxes, so I'm going to show you all the steps pretending the sticks are not there. Get your treats, candy melts, and sticks together. Take a stick, dip just the tip into the orange candy melts, and then press one of the pointy ends of your stars. Press them about three quarters of the way through, being careful not to push them all the way out the other side. Next, melt your brown chocolate until it gets to a fluid consistency. Grabbing your sticks, brown chocolate, and your circle cutouts, follow the same steps as you did with the star cutouts. When finished, put the treats in the fridge for about 10 minutes to harden. Once out of the fridge, remelt your orange chocolate and immerse or cover your stars. I just use a spoon, but you can also use a tall bowl or glass or a melting pot. I personally like doing it this way as I have more control over the coverage. Remelt your brown chocolate and dip your circles until they are completely covered. Now we're going to put these in the fridge for about another 10 minutes to harden. Now that they're out of the fridge, remove the circles and place them back in the fridge while you are working on your boxes. If you end up having excess like this, just break those pieces off and discard. I recommend laying the fox's head so the sticks are facing down towards you to avoid confusion as you're decorating. Using this 2x2 two two square cookie cutter, I am firmly pressing a template and using it as a guide on the icing of the fox. Taking the corner of the cutter and lining it up so that one side is creating a line through the center of one point and the other line falls between the center of the point where the nose will meet. Make sure you're pressing pretty hard as you'll want to see the lines when you're finished. Okay, so using just the top corner of the cutter, press an L, making sure to center the top of the L to the point of the ear and the opposing line is in line with the edge of the other point. You should now be able to see the fox's face come together. Continue these steps with the remainder of your stars. Taking your orange decorating icing and your tip number 18, we are going to start dropping little stars all along the inside of our lines. Now for the white icing. If you're using a decorating bag, simply drop your coupler into the bag, push all the way through to the end, and screw on your tip number 18. Fold down the opening of the bag and add your white icing. Press the icing all the way to the tip and twist the top to begin icing. We're going to fill in all the areas that we didn't get with the orange. Using white M&Ms or candy eyeballs, press them into the center of the box. Since these candy eyeballs have black pupils on the other side, I just flip them over so that I can make my own. Once you have lined up your eyeballs to where you would like them, slightly press them into the frosting to help them stay. Since Nick Wilde's eyes are green, I'm using a green edible marker and drawing circles in the center of each eye. Using my black edible marker, I am drawing in his pupils. You can totally stop here, but I'm going to keep going with my finer details. 
I am using these Wilton sprinkles to add a white dot to each eye. Again, totally optional. This is one of the two techniques I'm going to show you on how to put the sprinkles on the eyes. With your black decorating icing and tip number one, I'm going to be drawing out a line through the fox's eyes to give him like a shady look. Again, this is totally optional. Now grab your orange icing again with the same tip 18 and pipe out little stars above the center line for his eyelids. Switching the tip to number 2, take your black icing again and draw out a circle for his nose and lines going upward over the eyes for his eyebrows. I found these ties online and I will leave a link so that you can put them out too. I simply added them just below the fox's nose with tape. Moving on to flash, first you're going to want to mix a gray color. I'm using standard white store-bought icing with a drop of black food coloring. Mix until thoroughly blended. Take your icing bag fitted with tip number two and fill it with your gray icing. Okay, so here's another nifty trick. Take your Tootsie Roll, unwrap it, and place it in the microwave for a good five seconds, but no longer, or it will turn into a big poopy mess. This is going to help soften it so you can shape it. Press it flat and cut it in half, then half again, and then half once more to make it look kind of like a mini pizza. Begin shaping the pieces by rounding the edges and slightly stretching until it's desired shape for the eyes. Go ahead and take out your circle pops from the fridge. I had pre-made this eye-shaped template for the faces. Lay your template where you want it to be and then start tracing around it with a toothpick. Remove your template and then grab your decorating icing. You can use your gray for the face with your decorating bag but my kiddos asked for chocolate flavor so brown it is. Fitted with tip number 18, drop little stars around the outside of the line. This part I just freehanded. I drew a mini egg shape just above the inside of the template line. Grabbing your bag with the gray icing fitted with tip number two, fill in the inside of your smaller circle. Grab your cornstarch, coat your fingers, and then lightly press out the icing line to make it smooth. You don't have to do this step, but I thought it was something worth sharing. Taking your white icing fitted with tip number three, fill in the remaining areas. Grab your black decorating icing fitted with tip number two and pipe in your nose and mouth onto the gray area. Now place your Tootsie Roll pieces on each side of the head, spacing them pretty far apart. Make sure to tip them down a bit to give them a sleek look. Grabbing your black icing with tip number two, pipe two circles on top of the Tootsie Rolls where the area is wider. I have these sprinkles from Christmas. I'm just picking out a few white ones for the whites of the eyes. Using a toothpick, dip the tip into the white of the icing and then onto the top of your white sprinkle. This will help you move the sprinkle without much trouble. For this last step, grab your gray icing again with a tip number two and outline your gray circle. And then you're done. And here are our Zootopia themed Rice Krispie Treats. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Also, subscribe to my channel and to keep up with my weekly Wednesday tutorials. All right, thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Here are our, here are our, um, so that's why I've decided that I'm going to try to make, that's why I've decided making most of them mostly with the tip number 18. The second one is Flash the Sloth. <laughs> now that I said that really slow. <laughs> if your request is chosen, then I will leave a... <sighs> Under your comment. <laughs> okay, and here are our... Zootopia Thief Instagram Instagram something